Hey guys, how's it going? So I really wanted to do a intro that kind of reminded me of the original intro I did before they got all skit-ish, I guess. However, it's still fun to set up those scenarios. I am a little bit limited, but I think they're still pretty enjoyable. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at a special weapon pack. This is the B Weapons 3 pack, a pack of futuristic weapons that are fully customizable because they are on the Arctic Weapon Base, one of the best bases ever, and let's go ahead and see exactly what we can do. First things first, we can see some statistics over here. We can also look at other stats, which there's nothing of. There's also a bit of trivia here. You can see the year it was made. All all the different mechanisms, the manufacturer, and the caliber. So, a lot of cool little details really built into each of these weapons here. But let's go ahead and, whoa, wait, what? Interesting. Anyway, let's go into the first site. You can adjust the sights. Now, the cool thing is, there are unique special modifications just for this weapon pack that you can also use on other Arctic weapons if you so desire. But I mean, look at these freaking hollow sights. That looks amazing, it's like a mirror. And of course, it's not the only thing you can do. You can go ahead and choose the fat foregrip, Every one of these attachments is going to change the way the gun feels, and even some things will change how the gun acts entirely. Now this unfortunately just, well, this just adds a, a little flashy light, so yeah, that's not really all that impressive. But hey, you could change the color of it if that's what you want. But something like, for instance, the barrel. This one will change the muzzle velocity to 300%, so let's go ahead and try the standard barrel here. Alright, so I believe this is a grenade launcher. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, we see what that looks like. But what if we put on the rail barrel? Theoretically, this should make this go a lot farther. Let's go ahead and see. And... Yeah, that did not drop at all. So we pretty much turned this grenade launcher into a rail gun. But of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg because this, for instance, is gonna give us an eight round <laughs> magazine that we have to reload every single one of. Let's go ahead and shoot this puppy out and see what we got going. So now we shoot eight grenades out before we have to reload, and that is just amazing. Next up, we have energy spheres. This is gonna be kind of like the one we had, but you can see that they're energy spheres instead of standard grenades. All right, so there's a lot of talk, but let's go ahead and try these weapons out, and you can see it acts just like an energy weapon. It does vaporize enemies. And then, of course, we have the dark sphere. This one's going to have a good muscle velocity, some good close range damage. Okay, wow. Okay, 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 so you guys get the point. Now we're going to go on to the next weapon, and this one is going to be the machine gun of the pack. Don't know if it's a submachine gun or an assault rifle, but let's go ahead and see exactly what this sucker can do. All right, so once again, we have sights. You can adjust it. Let's go with the four times here, see what it looks like. And we can choose different grips, so this one can actually give us a grenade launcher. What? Okay, we gotta double tap the zoom button, which I don't think I have binded. Okay, I do. It's B. Oh! We don't have any, uh... Um, ammo for it, though. Okay, now we got some ammo. I don't know what I did, but we somehow got some. Let's go ahead and try out the grenade launcher here. Oh! And it's going to be of the energy variety. Awesome! So yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can go ahead and rock that, or of course you can completely switch it up and have a dark sphere launcher. So, uh, so from what I've seen, the barrel appears to be the thing that affects the gun the most. For instance, look at all these changes. This is completely different. Let's go ahead and try this out. All right, that is pretty gnarly. Now we're going to switch it out with the other one. And this one is going to be... I mean, it's pretty much a completely different gun. Seriously pretty impressive. This weapon pack is honestly amazing. Thank you to the person who did suggest this. Manmaker Studio, thank you so much for your suggestion, my dude. This is a sick pack. You can even put on a shroud if you really want. It tells you how much ammo you have left in your mag, and it just looks pretty bitchin'. Other than that though, it looks like it has the exact same, well, similar things you'd see on most weapons. But definitely pretty customizable, let's go on to the next one. And the next one is going to be the pistol. Look at that flashy animation, man, you gotta love it. This is the DACT, and it's pretty much a revolver. So what can you do with a revolver, you might ask? Well, you can add a sight, which, wait, what? Oh. You can, you could put an energy sphere launcher on the bottom of this thing. I don't even know how that makes any sense, but you can do it. And that looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Other than that, it looks like you have some similar stuff. This again, the barrel is where the meaty stuff is. Oh my God, this is where you can really customize the gun. All right, let's go ahead and spawn some combine here and see just how powerful this thing really is. If I can get a shot, there we go. So, 
pretty damn powerful. Not the most powerful pistol ever, but definitely better than it was. And we also have hammer adjustments. So for instance, the quick hammer is going to allow us to shoot quicker. Or of course we could have the energy hammer, which, whoa. God damn. You can even adjust the weight, what? Okay, so this gives you um, better recoil. This one gives you more movement speed. Interesting. There really is a lot of really cool stuff on this guy. Seriously, these are so customizable. I love the Arctic customizable weaponry base. It's probably the best base in all of Gary's mod, in my opinion. You even put shotgun shells on this. What? How do you even do that? All right, all right, we're getting too carried away. Next up, we have this thing. This is the Billy. And it's pretty ridiculous. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on. So I already did customize this a little bit. Let's go with the factory foregrip. In fact, we're going to go factory everything just to kind of get a good idea of what we're dealing with here. Except for this. We're going to make it have the 64 round magazine. Although even the magazine is going to change 2000%. Hold up. Does this turn this into like a sniper? Oh! Oh my god. Okay, it's a one round overcharged. Okay, that makes sense. That's why. All right, everything factory. It's pretty much going to be the LMG of the pack. And this thing does not mess around. Go ahead and spawn some enemies here. So again, this is standard. Definitely not the most accurate, but when you got this many rounds, do you really need accuracy? All right, let's go ahead and mess around with some of the attachments now. We're gonna use the shotgun light, doesn't really change much. The barrel though, this is where the big stuff is. For instance, I'm pretty sure, I mean, look how slow we are. This is insane. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we turned this thing into a sniper now. Yes, we did. It's a DMR. Now, you're not going to be moving all that quick, though, so be very cautious of that. The accuracy still sucks a little bit of balls, but you know what? Not enough balls. Next up, we have the HDVR. This is going to be the proper sniper of the pack. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We're going to do the best sight we can get. Let's go with... Oh, what? Stock Dark Sphere Launcher. What? Anyway, this thing again, it acts like a sniper. Although I think it's kind of in a DMR configuration right now. We can, of course, adjust that. With the standard barrel, of course, you can do the short one, which is going to give you better magazine capacity, better fire rate, and all that jazz. But we want range, damn it. This is a sniper for crying out loud. We can't change a lot on this. That's actually the thing that does kind of suck. It's a pretty bare bones sniper rifle. So if you want to do anything else with this but sniping, you might want to look at a different weapon. But let's go ahead and try the sniping itself. With the long barrel, it is very strong. Definitely good enough to one-shot most enemies. All right, last up but not least, we gotta talk about it. The freaking mech. So let's go into what we can do with this. First things first, we can adjust the body. We have the default body, the slim body, and the armored body. The armored body is gonna have twice the amount of health, but the slim body is gonna be able to move faster and jump higher as well. By three times, we're gonna go with the default though. The default one, I'm guessing, can't move as quick. We can choose a dash or a jetpack. We're going to go with a dash. We can choose shield emitter, which when you hold right click, it picks up a shield, which will hold any bullets. Oh, kind of like with Titanfall. Okay. And then R is going to be your melee. But if you do spikes, this one is going to make your melee attacks even stronger. And then we have nuclear ejection. What the? Okay, so this prevents you from dying. Wait, AI chip follows owner when dismounted. Oh, that's amazing. We got to try that out. The best thing is, though, of course, is you can choose the weapon. You can choose the minigun, the bevolver, or the launcher. We're going to go with the minigun, though. Let's go ahead and launch this sucker. So you shoot out a grenade, and then, like magic, your mech will fall from the sky. Ready to go. And this is probably the best part of this entire thing. So the AI mode is now activated. Normally he just sits there waiting for me, but look, he's my little buddy. <laughs> this is honestly sick as hell. Wait, can we summon more than one? Can we have two mechs? Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so we can have just a bunch of little mech friends. Let's go ahead and uh, try them out see how good they are. Here's some combine. Uh, wait, what? Why is he sh Why are you shooting me? Well, it doesn't matter because they ended up killing uh, the Metro Police, although that's only after they killed me. Douchebags. So what's it like to get into the mech? Well, you get this really cool animation that is unfortunately kind of janky because he was in the way. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually damage this guy. All right, apparently not. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty, pretty damn awesome, I'm not going to lie. So we do have our dash, which is our space. We do move pretty quick. We're the default mech. Right click is going to be our melee with our spike. We can uh, beat the living crap out of our buddy mech and 
yeah, he's, he's dead now. And then of course we do have that minigun. But what if you wanted to try this in third person? Well, all you gotta do is go into the options, go to Arctic, and then go into here and turn on third person mode. Now you can see we now have that third person. And the thing that sucks about this configuration is that we can only dash, we cannot jump. But hey, that's the cool thing because we can actually summon another mech and this one is going to have different properties because we can adjust it. We're going to do the, let's do the armored one, do the jetpack, shield emitter, nuclear ejection, and we're going to do the Bevolver. Here we go. So this one's not going to follow us. This one is just going to, well, do this. It's just going to sit there. We can see it's very heavily armored. Let's go ahead and pop in this sucker. Oh my god, beefy boy indeed. So we're actually going to go into first person here. We have the revolver. Definitely a pretty strong gun. Um, R is going to be our melee. We can just beat the living crap out of him. The melee is pretty strong on this thing. And then right click is going to be our emitter. This is going to let you absorb bullets and shoot them back. But of course you guys don't have to listen to me. We can actually go ahead and show what this looks like. We can even absorb the energy balls. And then once we're ready, launch it all back. I don't know how effective the launching it back does, although goddamn, this pistol is something else. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can do that one more time. I want to kill one more with the bullets. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, with the energy ball too. Bam! Oh, that is so awesome. So overall, guys, this is a very, very fun um, weapon pack to try out. And I mean, just for the mech. Like, come on now. Just for the actual controllable mech. This thing's pretty sick. So here's the slim body. We can see it's definitely very slim, but also very quick. Look how quick this thing is. And then the jump. The jump is actually insane. Look at this. Crazy. Now this is something that's really cool. You can use the, like the gravity field in conjunction with your grenade launcher. You can actually catch your grenades and then launch them all at once. So kind of some cool synergy there. But that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Let me know your favorite of these. I would love to know what you guys think. I also really want to know what this looks like when this thing blows up. All right, this shouldn't take too long, but we're definitely taking... Oh, here we go. That is some considerable damage we're taking. And there it is. Oh, <laughs> That killed almost everything. Unfortunately, he had to die for that to happen, but thank you to my mech for saving me. Oh, and now that blew up. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, check out my shorts channel in the top right corner. What's your favorite weapon in this whole pack? I'll see you guys in the next video, and until next time, thanks for watching, and farewell.